morning. It's Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Ricky's Story, Bringing Heaven to Earth. In our scripture is Matthew chapter 6. This is part of the Lord's Prayer that he taught his disciples. Pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I met Ricky in the parking lot of the Veterans Administration Hospital this past Monday. He struck up a conversation with our dog, Welly. Elizabeth just happened to be accompanying Welly on his walk while Russell was getting checked out by various medical people on the third floor. Well, as I walked up to Elizabeth, Welly, and Ricky's conversation, I was greeted with a big smile by Ricky. Willie hardly ever smiles. Ricky extended a handshake and introduced himself. We exchanged a few words of greeting, and Ricky began sharing the mission he'd been on ever since God got his attention. I never heard the exact details of what grabbed this man's focus and turned it to God, but when you're in a Veterans Administration parking lot and the guy says he's on a mission, you don't question too deeply. Well, it turned out, Ricky's mission was to help bring heaven down to earth, and it had to do with the Lord's Prayer. What had grabbed my new friend was the fact that when Jesus taught this way of praying to his disciples, it was the first time it had ever been heard. He was alluding to the reality that we hear it often in church. We have it on bookmarks and bumper stickers, but it's meant to be a framework for our daily life's walk not a mantra to be tacked onto the preacher's Sunday prayer. I can't recall exactly how Ricky explained the mission, but it went something like, Lord, let me be part of bringing your heaven down to where it's needed here on this earth. Let that heaven begin to interfere with all the killing, stealing, and all the other unkindness we do to each other. Heaven, here on earth, Lord. Then Ricky made it personal. He shared how trustworthy this faithful God is when it comes to working out our part in this mission. Ricky's a truck owner driver by trade. It seems a year or so ago when this mission was just beginning to dawn on him, he had a mishap with his truck. He ran into a big fence gate while making a delivery. It was late in the day and there was no one around, so he just left. The next day, it was like a festering thorn under his skin that he'd left without somehow settling this with the fence's owner. So Ricky went back and found the owner looking at that mangled fence. The man said, just look at that. Some fool just beat my fence all to pieces. Ricky told me at that point he had tears starting to come down, and he just blurted out, Mr., I'm that one. I ran into your fence. He promised he would pay for the damages and he gave the owner his contact information for when he got the bill. Later, after not hearing from the man, Ricky called him and asked if he found out how much it was going to cost. Ricky was ready to scrape together whatever was needed. The man said, Son, you don't got to pay me nothing. I got that fence back to where it'll open and close. There's no need to worry. You don't owe me. I'm just so thankful for the way you were honest about it. That's when the mission snapped into focus for Ricky. He could have gotten away with the thing, avoided the humiliation of facing someone he'd wronged. But he knew God wasn't that way. God had loved Ricky enough to die for him. So being honest about a fence was such a little thing. As it turned out, it made the fence owner's day and helped Ricky see what a great God he was serving. There was just a little bit of heaven come down to earth that day for a business owner and a truck driver named Ricky. For you today, meeting Ricky was a privilege for me. He takes the time to tell what happened to him in an honest, intentional way, giving all credit and glory to God. His honesty in coming clean with that fence owner reminded me of another friend's sentence I heard years ago. There's never a right time to do the wrong thing, and never a wrong time 
to do the right thing. So trust God and do right. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.